When you read fishing magazines, you always see stories about people hunting tropical sport fish with lures. Now we may not have any tropical sport fish in Perth, but you can still get the same thrill of the hunt in Fremantle by targeting flathead on prawn star lures. Now when working these prawn stars, I let them sink and the fish will actually see the prawn sinking down. Now I lift that rod tip up and I wind slowly. If you wind like this, you're not going to catch anything with them. Another good thing about prawn stars is that you can work them through weed and a lot of people fish for flathead on the sand. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think there has to be a lot of weed around for it to be a very good spot. And when there's a drop off like this and weed, you'll get flatties. But the prawn star doesn't pick up any weed at all. The people at Primal have got it right here with that design around weed. Follow it in. Oh, I had a touch then. Yes, I've got one on me. I've got one on me. And I'm on him. Oh, I've lost him. I've lost him. He's still there. Just put it in front of him. There you go. You just have to keep your wits about you. When they come in that shallow water, they are very timid and you have to take your time. And that time I blew it. Work it with the rod tip, just up and down gently, like a skittish prawn. Gotcha. Oh, it's a good one too. Oh, he's still there. Have a look at this. On the surface, follow him, follow him, follow him. There he goes. Oh, big lizard, that one. He swam straight at me and spat the hooks back. Now flatheads come right up in the shallows. And as usual, when there's a panic on, I've tangled my line everywhere. Right, panic over. Now, watch how successful you can be with these prawn stars. You just drop it down in front of him like that. Come on, have a go, have a go. He's got it, he's got it in his mouth. Set the hooks, got him. Look at that. Very efficient, <laughs> very efficient. Now that's why you've got to leave it right until the last minute before you take your prawn star out of the water. Now you saw this big fat flathead just stalk that prawn star. And that always takes a little while for them to actually get fired up before they fight. So I thought I'd uh, short circuit the system and get him in quick before he knew what was going on. Now, I'm going to flip him over. Oh, Steve's got the hooks in him there. That was so extraordinarily painful, I can't even begin to describe it. <laughs> well, look at that. Steve's hurt himself again. Wouldn't be a story if I didn't cut myself somehow. Now, hang on for a second, we'll just wash him off. We'll have a look at this beautiful big flathead. Have a look at him. He's well bigger than my shoe. And just an awesome predator. Nice and fat, this one. He'd be a good meal and they're great eating, but I love to watch him swim off, so. We'll pop him gently down the water. Just like that. Let him get his bearings. Off he goes. Hunting flathead. <laughs>